Hello everyone, it's North here. This is kind of an unusual upload because it's not on a Saturday, but since this is a thumbnail entry, I wanted to get it out as soon as possible. So here you are, a Wednesday upload so that you don't have to wait all the way until Saturday to see another video. For those who do not frequently check my community tab, a week or so ago I posted asking if anyone had any suggestions of thumbnail contests for me to join. I get a surprising amount of answers, five in total to be exact. I'm now going to be working my way through the ones that seem interesting as well as any others I find on my own on YouTube that I like. If you have a suggestion of a thumbnail contest for me to join, let me know. You can go find that post and comment on it, or you can put your suggestion in the comments of this video. No guarantees that I will join the thumbnail contest you link, but if it is a song and concept that interests me, I probably will, as long as I can find time to work on it. I looked back and it's been over two and a half years since I've joined a thumbnail contest. And that one was for one being hosted on an In Your Life Friends Scratch. So that wasn't even one on YouTube or one on a site that I was even on, because I don't have Scratch. The last thumbnail entry that I've done was in December of 2020, and that map hasn't even been completed. So basically, I haven't done a thumbnail contest entry since my first real year of doing art on YouTube. It's been almost three years since my last thumbnail entry, in that case. I've improved a lot since then. Maybe I have a better chance now. So why am I suddenly doing thumbnail entries again? Well, for one, it's fun. I like seeing what art I can come up with based on the theme of the map. For two, I'm really trying to crack down on the amount of copyrighted music on my channel. And maps are all about having copyrighted music. Like, 95% of them involve animating to copyrighted music. Yes, I made that statistic up on the spot, but you can get, but you get the idea. A small amount of maps either use non-copyrighted songs or voice acted maps, but again, this is only a small amount. A very significant portion of maps and said only use copyrighted music. I still want to participate in maps because I really enjoy it, so thumbnail entries are the next best way. I can easily create thumbnail entries without involving copyrighted music in the process. I might participate in some maps eventually, but just upload my parts with no music, I'm not sure. I find them a bit boring when they're posted without music, so I'm not sure I want them like that on my channel. Thumbnail entries like this do also teach me graphic design and marketing skills, which is good because I plan to do one of those two in, later in life. The orientation of the text around the drawing I believe teaches me graphic design skills, along with kind of the drawing itself. It helps me to know what looks good together. As for marketing skills, thumbnail contests are all about finding the map thumbnail that looks best and is most likely to make people click on the completed map video once it pops up in the recommended. I know for a fact that I'm not going to be an animation major, so animating is only a minor hobby of mine that I'm not even sure I want to pursue much at this point. Reading, writing, and drawing are the hobbies I focus on the most. Sure, animation technically falls into the category of art, but I much prefer working on a single drawing than an entire animation. The reason I'm not joining maps is also a thing about time, because I only have so much time and my last map part took me about 10 hours all compiled of working. It was only 4 seconds long, too. So, though those 10 hours were spread over a month's time, it still took a lot of time out of my schedule. Time that I just don't have with the stage of life I'm in, even though the end result was nearly worth it. This thumbnail entry took about 10th the time, and though it doesn't look as great, it still gave me a lot of practice for larger works that I will be proud of. And still, ha I still had a lot of fun with this drawing. And practice is what I needed. The way to get good is through trial and error of figuring out what works and what doesn't. So this is very useful to me. I'm not entirely proud of how this thumbnail entry turned out, but I do think they'll give me a good standing against any other entries for the map. I mostly struggled with the shading because the character is in space and how do you shade things in space? Um... I'm not really sure because the light sources are wonky there. Where is the light supposed to come from in space? I mean, the stars, I guess. But if you're not close to star, they're so small that you're not really that they're not really going to light you. So I really struggled with this because I seriously had no idea where to have the light source. I almost considered not shading it at all, but I wanted to try to make it look good. I mean, if you look at pictures of the astronauts who landed on the moon, they have shadows. Other than other than their shadows on the ground, though, their shadows aren't very defined. So I think I did pretty good at this. 
but not knowing the light source was hard. And yeah, um, I looked up those astronaut references after I finished the drawing. That's why you use references, guys, and look them up before the art is finished. I already struggled shading as it is, but I really, really struggled here. Weird enough, I ultimately decided to apply soft shading, something I don't believe I've ever done before. It just looked better, which I don't know why I ever use cell shading when I'm awful at it. What I should have done is make the letters glowing so that they would have acted as a light source. That would have looked really cool. But did I think of it at the time? No. It was nearly midnight when I finished and I wanted to get to bed. For some reason, I didn't want to still be working on it in the morning. I guess I was just feeling lazy with it, which is why I didn't produce the most wonderful result. I also should have changed the orientation of the lettering, because the character looks too boxed in. And I should have fixed up her expression, because I tried to make her looking up at the stars with determination, but instead she looks super confused. But again, it is what it is. There's always something to learn from every piece I do. That's part of the art journey. Trial and error over and over again until you learn. It's exhausting, but it's also incredibly fun. And the final result is always worth it. The character I drew was Spencer from Brandon Sanderson's Skyward series. It's an awesome series that I totally recommend. I just finished a novella of short stories before I drew this, so the series was on the mind. It has another book coming out in November, which will be the final Flora Quartet. I think a second series is currently being written, or at least a one-book sequel. It's called Skyward Legacy, if I'm remembering correctly, and it sounds pretty cool. The first book of the Skyward series will probably be one of the best books you've ever read. At least, it is in my opinion. It's definitely one of my most favorite books that I have read, as a lot of Brandon Sanderson's books have been. I didn't like the second and third books as much because there was a huge setting change and the characters I loved from the first weren't really in it, but they're still decently good books. The short story collection kind of fixes this because you get to see what the secondary characters are doing while the main character is away. But seriously, I totally recommend this series. It's technically YA, but it's far better than all the other YA stuff that's being published nowadays. It has its cliches too, but it feels set apart from all the other YA releases that all feel like the same plot over and over again. It's unique. The map itself is being hosted by Fulcrum Stardust and is an anything map. It kind of takes a bit of a dystopian slash serious theme, which I felt like Skyward kind of fit. I mean, the series is about the future where all humans are trapped by aliens on a strange planet, so yeah, kind of dystopian, if you stretch it. Well, it's really more like an apocalyptic theme, but the way some of the governments of different species in the book are, it could almost be dystopian. In the map rules, it says to try to make your part have dark, mysterious, and dystopian themes. Dark, I assume, is like shadowy or gothic, not like inappropriate dark. Anyway, apocalyptic can fit with those, I believe. Though I wouldn't say Skyward is mysterious, there are some mysteries to be solved in the book, so I say it fits. Well, that's all. I hope you enjoyed watching. Consider going and checking out both Skyward by Brandon Sanderson and Skyfall, the map I'm entering this thumbnail entry for. I'll try to link both in the description. I'll obviously link Skyfall as a YouTube link, and Skyword will either be Amazon or Barnes & Noble or something. Last I checked, that map was full, but consider getting a backup or entering the thumbnail contest like I did. Thanks for watching. Bye!